just got off a monthly gathering conversation, virtual cafe with other black women. And one of the things that we talked about was the workplace, being a person of color in the workplace when the people that you report to are white and how sometimes there will be other black people who will cozy up to the higher ups and will throw you under the bus or there's a level of expectation or hope or affinity that you thought that you would have with this other black person at work but uh, you come to find that they ain't about it and you might feel betrayed so what do you do in that instance hmm Part of it is being aware that not every person who shares your ethnicity, not every person who shares your skin color has the same values as you, right? Doesn't make it hurt any less, but that's the reality. Just because there's another person of the same cultural background at the workplace, it doesn't mean that they have your back. So that's one, is understanding that. Because when we can understand our expectations, we can let them go. So that we can actually live in alignment um, basically, we can live in ways so that we're not making life harder for ourselves. The other thing that you can do is to hold up a mirror and to question, how do you show up in that same way? Whether it's at work or any other social environments where there will be another woman of color just like you. And it happens so fast, unconsciously, there could be a, a clenching or uh, the heart closes. Don't just let that slide next time. Investigate, get curious. Huh. I saw this other sis in the same place, the same workplace, the same social group, and I'm feeling closed right now. I wonder what that's about. So it's like using the experience, the shit-tastic experience from the workplace with this other person, releasing expectations around that person and around really any other person who looks like you. And on the flip side, using that as a, a teaching tool, an investigative tool for yourself. So you can see where, you know, you're also incongruent, not beating yourself up at all, not shaming yourself, but just looking like, you know what? I don't want to be like that anymore. These are some of the bite-sized ways that we can dismantle internalized racism, white supremacy thinking, all of that within our very beings. It's just a small, small step. Take a bigger step. I invite you to take an even bigger step as you're committed to this process. And that bigger step is to work with me one-on-one -on -one. so we can 
play it all out on the table. Like what are all the instances, or rather the most troubling instances, instances and experiences that you've had on both sides of this, right? The side where you have felt let down by another person of color, just like you. And also looking at the other side of, wow, these are the places and these are the ways in which I'm practicing some internalized racist shit I wasn't even realizing, and I want to fucking change that. With one-on-one coaching, that's what we do. Every single week. And we reach that point where you're living in integrity with your values so that you get to show up in a way that is an act of service to the people around you, the people, your people, the people who look like you, right? And then on the flip side also, you can release expectations from other black people to be like that, or excuse me, other people of color, other people like you to also be like that. It's a dance. And it's a dance that you will learn to dance very well with coaching. Reach out to me and let's get your consultation scheduled.